Hey there, my name is Laura and I am currently attempting a through hike of the Pacific Crest Trail. Uh, you may have been following my channel and I had been hiking through the desert, um, but now I'm actually flipped up to Northern California over near Chester. So this will be kind of a half video because I'm starting about halfway through a section. I think I've got 54 miles of this section. I go up through Lassen uh, Volcanic National Park and then I believe it ends a new one starts at Bernie. Uh, so I'll be taking you guys through my uh, 54 miles on this video and then hopping into a full section on the next video. Uh, for now I'll be hiking north toward the border of Canada and then once I hit that I'll come back down to Chester and hike southbound uh, through where I left off. So anyway, all right, here it goes. Hey there, so it is about, let's see, it's about noon and I'm just under 12 miles in for the day and I should have another, I think, 11 maybe to go to get to the campground I'm shooting for. Um, but just took a nice little swim in this lake over here at Lassen. I'm at, uh, I think it's Lower Twin Lake. Super gorgeous. Going to take a few minutes, probably like 30 minutes off my feet. Um, and then keep going. Unfortunately, there's not much shade today, but and I would love to stay here for a long time, but being as like the hottest part of the day is like two to four, I think I would be missing too much of the day uh, that should be spent hiking. So I'm gonna get out there in a little while and see how terrible it is. Um, but I hope to make it to my campsite. Um, not totally twisted. So I'm walking through this burn area after the lake and it's like decently windy um, which is honestly a little bit scary because there are these huge trees that were once awesome and standing. I mean I guess they're still standing um, but there's not much of them left behind at the bottom and some of them are still really tall. Um, so it's a little bit scary that the wind could potentially cause some some of these trees to move. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I think I might have passed most of the really tall ones, but um, but yeah, I'll see if I can show you. So lots of big kind of sticks. You see that one has like not much at all at the base. There were a few bigger ones um, just before I started recording this that were pretty sketchy looking, uh, literally right next to trail and at least that tall um, with very little of a trunk left at the bottom. So making sure to take out my earbuds and listen uh, for any <laughs> creaking wood. I know that um, it can be really dangerous. I know that's why, you know, we're not supposed to camp in any burn zones because trees do fall all the time. And you'll see like this. Just like a tree graveyard is really sad actually. Anyway, um, I'm sure it'll be fine, but just being a little extra cautious in these areas, making sure to stay on trail and not break near any of these uh, sketchy looking trees if I can help it. I am having some pretty bad shoulder pain again. Um, so I've been like holding uh, that strap up so that it doesn't have much weight on the shoulder and then just using like my right trekking pole for the last few miles, just kind of like trudging along. Um, I think I'll probably take some Advil 
and see if that does anything because this is not feeling super sustainable. Um, and I was worried about that too. I mean, I took like three weeks off uh, to go be with Jonathan on his bike trip on the Great Divide and I'm still, um, like the pain is coming back. So not quite sure what to do about that. So here's to uh, making it into the final uh, two, two and a half miles tonight. And then I'll have a shorter day into Old Station tomorrow. Hey there, so today is my third day back on trail and I'm actually doing a little bit of a short day into town. Uh, my hubby, Jonathan, is camped like right on the trail. So I'm headed that way and I actually got a lovely meetup. So he's hiking with me into town. We parked the truck out and is gonna bike back to it later. Um, it's like, oh, sorry only 10 miles because I did 24 yesterday, which is my longest day yet. Woo! And yeah, I had a really nice camp with a few of my new friends at the river. It was lovely and the mosquitoes didn't start until it was like bedtime. So that was nice too. Um, but yeah, today's been pretty chill. Uh, not too much up, mostly pretty flat and living trees. After all the burn yesterday, I was just like, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> um, it's and depressing. Heat. And what? Heat. Yeah, and the heat. Yeah, it was just hot. I like ended up taking quite a few breaks at the second half of the day after the lake. Um, but you had to hike through some sketchy burn, which I think I showed you uh, on the video. But didn't love that. Kind of felt like it was like in a little minefield because you could see in the wind the trees were moving um, and they barely had a trunk left. So I like tried to walk really fast through there. Um, that was probably like one or two miles and then there's still burn elsewhere, but it didn't seem as sketchy um, So yeah, it's been really good to hike amongst all these beautiful trees I've seen a ton of deer There were like mamas and babies and a little buck and like when I woke up at the tent this morning There was one grazing like just a little ways away from my tent um, I've been looking for bears everywhere. haven't seen one yet Think, like it'd be kind of cool too but um, I guess it's okay so anyway headed into old station a little further today and then next stop after this will be to Bernie which will be super cool to have the waterfall but also between here and there is one of the longer water carries uh, and it's actually been quite a bit hotter than I expected up here in NorCal so I'm um, just getting back into the groove of things and yeah, trying to hike early in the morning as much as possible. Guys, this is super cool. We're in the lava tubes, which is just a little side trail off the PCT over here at Old Station. I'm gonna have a headlamp because it's super dark. And a lovely freezing, like 46 degrees. So if you have a hot day hiking like Hat Creek, I'm chilling here. If you've made it this far, uh, you have made it to the end of section N with me. So this is my last day of hiking section N. Uh, I'll be reaching the highway today that leads into Bernie. Thank you so much for joining me on this little section. I'll be coming at you with section O video next. If you like these videos, please subscribe so you'll get notified whenever I come out with the next one. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.